to climb that stair but oh we can go up we c or we can talk to the message board let's do that that's not how it works the bulletin board is a written word medium well you don't know that until you tried it i don't need a bulletin board well i need one actually i do just your usual bring your spoons back to the cafeteria announcement why would you not why would you use spoons in your cafeteria what is this this looks scary let's walk in here instead this is let's um let's turn the light off whoa <laughs> dark we should probably turn the light on again i can't see it there good it idea there you go What's this? Look at the post. A postcard from Vladvakistan. Yay! Look here. The foreign minister postmarked the stamp with his own incisors. Ooh. Take it. It doesn't have my address on it. Well, it could have if you write it. How's the weather in Vladvakistan? I don't know. Meteorologically ambivalent. And cold. What is this? This says, the moon falls down to earth. That's a bit worrying. <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't think it is, though. I don't want to collect that. It's because it says, the moon falls down to earth. That's a message better left down here in the basement. Yeah, no one needs to hear about that. What does this mean? The moon falls down to earth. Who would write such a thing? Isn't there a handbook for that? Or secondary literature? What? what, what? This is so much down here. First, have it signed by the patient's attending psychiatrist. Then show it to the therapist on the day of the seminar. Okay. Where you wanna... Oh, I took that one. Maybe because we need to go to seminar. Yay! We, we could talk to... T no, I only talk to designer furniture. You do not. You talk to everything, Edna. You're a talk slut. Op no, open it. Let's see. Just another load of files. Hey, this looks useful. There's a list of the current inmates. Yeah. It shows where I can find the corresponding patient histories. I seem to know some of the names. Well, normally I don't care much about files, but snooping around in other people's patient histories is so delightfully prohibited. Sounds good. So, whose patient history shall I look at? Oh God, we have so many. Let's start with Druggle Jug. Is this supposed to be a patient's history? I quote, name, Drogglejug. Yeah. First pet, green dog. Okay. Characteristic, was always chosen third during physical education lessons. That's all. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's talk, let's look at B-Man. Is this supposed to be a patient's history? I quote, name, B-Man. First pet, Black Pony. Characteristic, was always chosen first during <laughs> physical education lessons. Okay. That's all. Okay. So so that's all they take when they take in a new patient. That's the, the important stuff. Let's take look at Adrian the King. Is this supposed <laughs> to be a patient's history? I quote, name, Adrian, King of the Recreation Room. First pet, Red Cat, characteristic, was always chosen second during physical education lessons. That's all. Shh, is, is this a code that I should remember? Because I'm not going to remember all this. Is this supposed to be a patient's history? I quote, name, Peter, first pet, blue goldfish, characteristic. Was always chosen next to last during physical education lessons. That's all. I think I need to write this up. Because these games are always kind of messing with your brain. And so all of this is probably important. So I'm just gonna write. Let's start with B-Man again. Let's see now. Okay, so I did all of them. Let's look at Hardy. Hardy. Is this supposed to be a patient's history? I quote, name, 
Hottie. Yes. First pet, yellow rat. Yellow. Characteristic. Was always chosen last during yes. physical education last. lessons. Last. Okay. That's all. I think I got all the information I need there, lady. But there was one last thing that said something about something about something. Not examining. Oh, okay. Can we use this then? Oh, it's the same. Okay. And I guess we're not gonna do anything with it. I need these. to know what I'm looking for. Exactly. Okay, so we have the information now. I write it, I wrote it up, so uh, this is probably going gonna come handy later because King Adrian is gonna ask us questions or there's a code somewhere. Yeah, you know, might be good to have. Doctor Marcel is here. Pure eye candy. <sighs> oh, such an intelligent young man. Hello, Doctor Marcel, is that you? It is so true to life. <laughs> Almost real. So scary. Pick it up. I can take a page or two from this guy's book. Look at it. Very nicely done. Let's go into this scary room. Oh, here we have a furnace, I would imagine. Hey, you ingrate. Satan? Beelzebub? <laughs> Mephistopheles? Isn't anybody home? No. Ouch! Hot! Obviously, don't don't pick it up. Look at it. A true inferno. So here we here we're gonna use. Only trained heating engineers can handle these. Well, that doesn't matter. Talk to it. You like to control others, don't you? <laughs> I despise you, maintenance control. Yeah, boo. Pick it up. I can do quite well without even more control from the outside. Let's go down. Because I don't have the materials needed. Here we have twisted spoons. Use one of them. These spoons are useless now. We don't have anything we can dig with, right? No. We need to get to go to the cafeteria and get a spoon, probably. Uh, let's look at a hole. It's dark down there. Did I see something moving just now? I don't know. Pick it up. I'd rather not. If I had a hole in the inventory, <laughs> I'd lose all my useful items. <laughs> I guess that, that's true. Talk to it. Hello? Anybody home? Ah! <laughs> There's someone what? in there. See? Si? Get tal? H Hello? Who, who are you? And who might you be? My name is Almilio Sanchez, the mobile group. Of but most course. people call me Almighty Ruler. Are you Adrian? Can I call you Almo for short? If that's what you like. And you are? Call me Edna. Is that a nickname too? It stands for especially dumb nut Almilio. I don't get it. Me neither. What, what, what's your business down here? Are you an entrepreneur? What's your business down there? What does it look like? I'm digging a tunnel to freedom! Of course you Unfortunately, are. Unfortunately, I've struck a layer of hard clay. I could use that. I won't be able to go on without the proper tool. And I ran out of spoons. You don't happen to have a spoon, do you? I don't. I don't. Don't you think there's a more convenient way to get out of here? Don't you think there's a more convenient way out of here? Forget it! The front door is always guarded and the back door is permanently locked. The only key to that is carried by a guard named Bladder. Yeah, And yeah. he's more stubborn than a mule. Yeah, I've noticed. But even I if noticed. you could <laughs> wrangle the key out of him, which is a big if, you'd still have to get over the wall or the main gate. Believe me, a tunnel is the fastest way. Oh, well, maybe. Good luck. I'll look for another way. You won't find one. I'll come back with a spoon, probably. We should save here. We should save this. Let's just save this other one, just in case I mess up and, you know, everyone dies or something. Or something horrible. Horrible, miserable. We can't go there. Okay, let's go back. Let's uh, go. Let's try to go upstairs to see what we can find. Welcome. So this is very locked. Open sesame.
to me. And yeah, you can walk here, but let's walk in here first. This is probably the cafeteria. Or, well, yeah, it's the kitchen anyway. 